Hey, it's Red Beach here. How's it going? I'm here with End Stuff Music, and I'm here to talk about the PT100 amp from Custom Audio Electronics. Uh, I've been using these amps, or a variation of these amps, for basically my whole career because I knew John Sir back in New York City when he worked for uh, Pensa Sir Guitars. And John uh, makes these amps now. And he's been modding my Marshalls forever, and they sound exactly like this. <laughs> Sorry, John, but that's, that's his mod. It's amazing. Everyone wants it, and there's a reason for that. It, what it is is, is it's, it's built off of the, the old Marshall Plexis. And Marshall's a great company, but, you know, they don't make the old amps like they used to, just like a Fender Twin doesn't sound like it used to, or a Fender Deluxe doesn't sound like it used to. And John is pretty much a master at recreating the sounds of the old amps that we used to love. <laughs> It's got everything in one. It's got a killer clean sound, it's got a killer rhythm sound, and it's got a killer lead sound. And it's all in one head. Marshall amps, they're just not known for their clean sound. And um, a lot of amps, if they've got a killer rock sound, when you go to the clean sound, it's dinky. And uh, that's one of the best things about this head. But it's, it's a boutique head, so it's made by a guy, John Sir. Um, who one one of the unique things about him is that he knows everything about guitars. He built this guitar. He's a luthier, and he knows everything there is to know about amps. There's an old story, uh, and it's true, um, that Eric Clapton was looking for the sound of his old Fender Deluxe amps, and nobody could do it. And you know, it, it was like, what are we going to do? We're going to have to call John Sir, you know. Again, we always call John Sir. He is the man. Uh, he's really known in the business as the guru of amps. So, um, you know, th that I get to play these amps is, is a great honor for me. Um, and the other thing is, they're so easy to use. You have all these amps with a billion knobs on them, that you don't need, and, or maybe you do need them, but you got to fiddle with them for like a half an hour to get that tone, to get the best that amp's going to offer. So with these heads, you walk in, you plug in, and even if everything is straight up and down, it sounds great, and you only need to tweak it a little bit. You want it to be crunchy and smooth, like a nice Reese's peanut butter bar. <laughs> <laughs> but it's got to have crunch. It, you don't want it too brittle. You know, um, it, it's good. Another good thing about the, this amp is that the knobs actually do something. You, you can get some amps where you will say bass and you turn it up and just the tiniest little bass happens. Or, you know, it'll say treble and, it, it, you know, you get a little bit more treble. This thing goes, it's like a graphic EQ, even though it's not a graphic EQ. Um, and here, all that's what I'm saying about too brittle. And you want too much if it's on 10. 10 is too much in this situation. Do you know what I mean? So, cut it back to like 7, and that's where generally everything is good at 7. Things got way more bass, way too much bass if you need it. That's on 10. It's that's too much bass. So, you cut that back. You don't want a lot of bass. 
um, especially for your sound man. He, he can't use it. It's just going to woof up his mix, and he won't be able to turn your solos up, which is incredibly important to us guitar players. Um, so you want something that the sound man can work with. But this is another reason why this amp is great, because 10 is too much and 7 is just right, you know? So it's really done the way it should be done. Um, I cut back the mids on this amp, which was a suggestion from uh, John if I wanted it to sound more like a Marshall, because they kind of had that scooped mid thing, the old Marshalls do. <laughs> It's just really, really smooth and crunchy the way that you want it. It's, there's no, you know, BS about it. You plug right in, and that's what it sounds like every single time, every single model I've ever played through. You know, if I go to a, another store or if I go to the NAMM show or anywhere, a buddy has one, you plug in, and that's what it sounds like. It's just perfect, and you'll be the, uh, the bell of the ball, you know, like... A, <laughs> That's not what you'll be. You won't be the bell of the ball. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, you'll be the envy of your friends with his, with his head for sure. It's always good to walk into your situation and bring a head and plug in and sound, you know, like a god in anything when you go do a session and, and you know even if you have a crappy guitar this thing will make it sound good trust me so that's good okay let's let's talk about a couple other things okay this is the rhythm channel channel number two is the rhythm channel that's what i use most of the time with white snake and winger and all that um what i choose to do to solo is to add um a distortion pedal you know, just a little bit of distortion for the solos. Um, the reason I choose a pedal is because it compresses it just a little bit, and I do a lot of this tapping thing. Um, and if you compress it a little bit, it makes it sound more like I'm hitting every note, which I wish I was doing, you know, picking every note. I wish I was picking every note. I wish I knew how to do that, but I don't, so I tap. Um, and so the, the little drive thing gives a little compression. It actually sounds better if you just go to channel three and use channel three as opposed to using any dumb pedals because it's a whole nother tube section and it's fatter. But for my tapping things, I, I, I just prefer a distortion pedal. But I'll show you the difference. Here's if I'm just playing through channel two. And I'll kick on a distortion pedal. You can barely hear it, but it compresses a little bit. Um, here's channel three, which you has its own volume, so you can boost for your solos, which we all love to do. Just boost it a little bit so everyone can hear the solo situation. Hear it? A little boost action there. It's fatter. That's a good riff. Um, actually, that sounds better. I should I should can the distortion pedal and just start using channel three from now on. <laughs> it's pretty good. Can't really beat that. Um, okay, what else we got here? Um, the killer thing, and we're gonna talk about the, the the clean channel coming up here. All right. Um, hi again. Uh, I, I got this other guitar just because it's real stratty, so you can hear. The serious clean sound on this thing. Um, so here you go. <laughs> it's great. You know, it's got everything.
it's real, real sparkly clean. There's no distortion clean. <laughs> down a little bit you know I got this strat so you can hear like a stratty I mean that's pretty darn funky clean there buddy you know <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> you don't usually get that on a on a you know rock and roll head which this definitely is um you can do anything with this thing and you can also probably I haven't tried it because I don't need to try it but you could probably get channel one to be even let's try it you want to do it Let, you can probably get channel one to get rocked out like a clean rock <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Um, so that could be like you're really clean, and then you could, for your soloing, you could go to channel two, and then you could hand it to your buddy who is a rock guy and go to channel three. <laughs> it's very versatile indeed. <laughs> It's Red Beach. Um, I just wanted to thank you for checking out the PT100. It's the greatest amp there is. Um, I just can't say enough about it. And I think everyone who's ever played through one of these just fell in love with it. Everyone that I know in the business just goes, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's the, that's the ticket. Um, and you can get them right here at End Stuff Music. I live about you know a couple blocks away from, from this place. And I actually bought my first guitar here when I was 13. It was an area Strat. Um, I've been coming here ever since. And everyone loves this store <laughs> and stuff. If you ever come here, it's a really, really badass store. Uh, and they happen to have the custom audio amp, the PT100, available. Also, they sell SIRS here. And that they sell this stuff so close to my house is pretty mind-boggling to me because they're, you know, in great demand. So thanks for watching. Uh, come out and see Winger next year. We're, we're playing all over the place with a new album. Uh, and it's our 25th anniversary, believe it or not. Uh, almost that long that I've been with John Sir. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>